everybody, tis the season for making some Christmas candy, and we are going to make one of my favorites. We are making Oreo truffles on the show today, so let's go ahead and get started. Here's what you're going to need. One package of regular Oreos, eight ounces of cream cheese, and dipping chocolate. All right, so what we've already done is I have all my Oreos in this bowl, and then I've already chopped up all of the Oreos. Normally, I throw them in the food processor to get them really nice and finely uh, smashed up, or you can put them in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin, whatever you need to do to get them all mashed up. But you want to make sure that there's not too many big chunks. You don't want to be able to see any of the cookie. You want it to be real nice and crumbly. So after you get that done, then we're going to take our eight ounces of cream cheese, and we're just going to plop that right in there. There we go. And then we're going to take our mixer. And we're going to mix that all together until it makes like a dough. Now that that is all mixed up, we're going to grab a ice cream scoop or a cookie scoop. Then we're going to make little balls here and place those on a baking sheet with parchment paper. Then we're going to throw this in the fridge for about 20 minutes to let these firm up before we dip them in chocolate. Be right back. Right, they should be ready to go. So let's go ahead, pull them out of the fridge. And then we're gonna dip them in chocolate. Now, a few tips for dealing with chocolate. A lot of times I use the candy melt, and if you want to melt those in the microwave, that can be fine, but you can also very easily overcook the candy melts in a microwave oven. So I have found the best way to melt chocolate is in a double boiler, but do whatever works best for you. All right, so now we're going to take our Oreo truffles. We're going to just roll them in the chocolate here and then place them back on our parchment paper. And once all of them are completely covered in chocolate, we're going to put them back in the fridge for just about five minutes, just long enough for the candy coating to get nice and hard, and then they are ready to serve. Now, Cooking with Caitlin is brought to you by hy V. They have provided all the groceries for today's recipe, and if you try these recipes at home, then make sure to reach out on social media and let me know how it goes.